The Minnesota Twins and the University of Minnesota Football Gophers are leaving the Metrodome for new outdoor stadiums. The Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome was the third covered professional sports stadium in the nation. Ah, the memories. Minnesotans could finally stand tall with New Yorkers and Angelinos. And the Twins did it in the Dome. But back in 1981, when the big inflatable was about to open, we Minnesotans, living in the icebox of the nation, needed to know how to cheer teams in air-conditioned comfort. Enter Channel 5 Sunday Extra with Steve Sanger and its Dome Report with John Barnier. As you can see, getting to a Vikings game is a life or death situation. This is John Barnier with a few survival tips. Since the Dome has no convenient parking lots or bus routes, there are certain essential pieces of survival gear that you Vikings fans may not be aware of. Cross-country skis, the poles, backpack holding all essential gear like beer or warm wine. In case of accidental snow melt, flippers. And when things get really rough, snowshoes. This careless fan did not wear gloves. Hypothermia got him at Loring Park. Last but by no means least, warm headgear is of vital importance. John Barnier, The Dome Report. This has been The Dome Report with John Barnier, keeping pace with the dome and the Hi. John Barnier here, getting a jump on the rest of you for summer. You know, summer is an important time of year in Minnesota and shouldn't be wasted. So Peter Toland and I are here to tell you about what you and your neighbors are doing about it. Peter? Hey, John, how's that tan coming? Brown and like a berry, Pete. And say, I'll bet I'll be a lot healthier looking than some of you Dome Ball fans this summer. That is, except for Roseville's own Jim Deming, who is bringing the sun to where the sun don't shine. I've always believed that baseball should be played out in the sun. Our Metrodome here creates a problem in that area. I, as an engineer, realize there is a solution to that particular problem. Voila, we now have the sun inside the Metrodome. Deming's battery-powered sun lamp contraption weighs only 70 pounds and picks up play-by-play -play coverage on the radio. You may not believe it, but I built this entire device out of spare parts that I had out in the garage. I'd also like to say hello to my wife, Doris, and all the guys out at 3M. A dome burn. Next, they'll revive tailgating, right? Well, tailgating didn't die. 